Hey boys and girls, here we are up on uh, Mount Royal, Montreal QC. It's uh, almost the end of May, the 29th I believe. And uh, I'm gonna just run through um, the kind of stuff that I carry on my bicycle from early May till end of October, early November. Um, anybody who saw my last videos uh, knows that I got caught in the rain and that was a learning experience. So uh, I've tried to take what I've learned and apply it and we'll kind of go through everything here. This is my bike. It's an old Trek 750 multi-track uh, that I rebuilt a little while ago. I have uh, two front panniers, cheap. They're 12 liters each from Mountain Equipment Co-op. And then I have on the back a 25 liter OP dry bag and my tent poles are there couple of water bottles standard fare but we'll go through uh, what I'm doing and how that's the key is how things are being packed that's the important stuff so let's hold on for just a moment and we'll start doing it so I want to preface everything here by talking about the weight that I'm carrying right now this is a typical base weight the only thing I don't have is food and water I did throw a, a, a bag of clothes in my food bag just to simulate what that feels like. And roughly what I come up with is three bags, two on the front and one on the back. And each one weighs uh, right at about six pounds. So I have a base weight of approximately within a few ounces of 18 pounds. I'm not a gram weenie. That's a lot of weight, I realize. but. It's perfect for overnighters, weekend trips, uh, trips up to a week in length, uh, provided the weather is warmer. You don't have to carry a lot of heavy clothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the back here because this is where I really learned my lesson, getting caught in the rain and not being able to get a shelter set up. So we'll start with that pack here in just a sec. So this is really about making do with what you've got. I had this bag, I had these old straps, but they work perfectly, holds the thing on, and what's nice is with this roll top dry bag, it gives you an attachment point to the frame, so it's very secure, right? So the first thing out is always the tent poles, and we'll get into that here in a jiffy. So let's just go ahead and pull the bags off the front rack for simplicity's sake. There's the food bag, and I'll explain what the rest of this is. And there's the tent bag, and uh, tool bag, and my easy chair. Come along. Okay, so in the event of rain, first thing off the bike is the tent poles. The next thing out is the tent itself. It's in here. Uh, what is this? It's a Hubba NX solo tent. And uh, I'll talk more about how this is packed because that's critical too, as I have learned. The other thing I have in this bag is my camp chair. This is the uh, A-Lite Monarch. Perfect, fabulous piece of gear. It's a luxury item. I really don't need it. It's uh, it's a pound more of weight, but I like it. Then I have a raincoat, always at the ready, right up front here. This I didn't have last time, at the ready. It was packed way down in here. So that's at the ready at all times. On the lid of this bag is a pocket that has all of my tools, bike tools. I keep a spare tube, wrenches, Allen keys, so forth, a pump, that's all in there, right? So set, tent set up, got a raincoat on, uh, this is its side. After that, I come into this bag and I have spare clothing. Uh, this is pretty standard, I'll go into that later. Next out is my personal bag, bee sting kit, toothpaste, toothbrush, bug repellent, water purification. Next out is, oh god, this is wonderful. This is another luxury item. Climate V inflatable bed mattress. Love it. 
Finally is my, I don't have a sleeping bag, I have a top quilt instead. And that's at the bottom. So that's the last thing out once the tent is set up, right? So that's that. Over here, the other side bag in front, this bag contains my rain pants. So the rain suit is always easy to get to through these straps. This is primarily the food bag. So inside of this, uh, this is just simulated bag of food. These are actually clothes, but actually I would not carry this much. I don't find that I need to, the places that I travel, although it's possible. Next is a uh, decent knife. Uh, this is a um, Mora HD. Never lose it, blaze orange. That's another fine luxury item. Uh, this is just a container for water or more food. You can hang it from a tree. Nice. This is my favorite. This is my uh, multi-fuel cook kit. It burns wood, it burns alcohol, and it also doubles as a campfire. You can use it as a twig stove just like that. So that's that. What else is in here? Got uh, a spoon, All right? Got a headlamp. And in the top, this is the communication center. Uh, we have our cell phone, we have keys, we have a wallet, and the wallet also has the patch kit for the tent. And that's it. That's about it in a nutshell. You know, I just had another thought. It's one thing to show everything that you carry, but you have to uh, adopt a ritual for packing and unpacking. And so I'm just gonna go through this. It goes something like this. The first thing that goes away is my top quilt. I don't use a, a bag for it. It's already in a bag. It's at the bottom of a dry bag and it compresses any old way. The next thing that goes in is the bed. It just flops in there like that. The next in is my personals kit right on top, followed by any clothing. It's uh, Think about, if a situation arises, you have to get something. If you put your clothing in the bottom of this bag and you need a sweater or a t-shirt, you gotta drag everything out. That's why it's packed this way. And it compresses, rolls up. Bam, ready to go. Next is the tent. Assuming I packed it all up already. This is my tent bag here. So that just stuffs in there. And I keep the tent really loose. I don't bother to cinch it up as tight as I can in its own stuff sack. Because I want it to conform to, to the pack that it's going into. Then my chair goes in. Oh, raincoat. Yeah, raincoat with the tent. Don't ask me why I do it that way. It's just the way I do it. It's just habit. So that's that. Then there's the food bag and everything. Oh shit. <laughs> Disaster averted. So there's the mess kit. Always goes in the very bottom. Knife next. Spoon. Uh, oh. My little jug of whatevers. Go. Flashlight whatever food I'm carrying, right on top. Usually it's, you know, food that doesn't need cooking or anything like that. So that goes there. Rain pants. And that gets strapped on top of the orange bag. There you go, just like that. Nothing to it. There she is, bridled, saddled, and ready to go. Back on the road.